all right my dear so in this uh, video i'm going to share with you conduction of heat transfer through a composite slab well if you are preparing for any university examination or maybe gate examination then uh, this topic is most important all right so let me share with you what what is the admission we are going to take for deriving the equation what equation we require to solve numerical problems right so for the assumption is uh, the complete state is complete condition and state will be one dimensional complete state will be one dimensional this is the assumption we are taking for solving the problem now let me first draw uh, the circuit the circuit which is really important for this question right this is the circuit and uh, here t1 is the temperature and uh, here you can see this one one resistance t2 is the intermediate temperature and t3 is here now as you can you know this is thermal resistance rth1 rth2 let's say this right now as you know according to fourier's law of heat transfer what we know q is equal to minus k a d t y d x right again we know d t d x d x is equal to v we have already share i have already share with you so d t means t2 minus t1 so because we will just multiply this minus here so things will change so we can write b y k a so we can write this equation like this t1 minus t2 b by k a so this b by k a is the thermal resistance so here if we we'll see the first slab first slab this is the first slab and this is the second slab if we will see this first slab then rth1 is equal to b1 k1 a and the same the case would be same for this second slab rth2 is equal to b2 k2 a so this is this is all about the thermal resistance now once we get the thermal resistance for this slab we can easily find out the heat transfer or rate of heat transfer through this slab right so we know q is equal to q is equal to t1 minus t3 by the total resistance b1 k1 a plus p2 k2 a right so this is the total heat transfer rate now heat if, if this is heat transfer rate and the unit of this is watt right now question may be asked that heat transfer rate okay let me write first heat transfer rate per unit area that means watt per meter square or sometimes we say w per meter square right so if the question in the question ask like this what we should do we have to transfer this area to this side that means q by a is equal to t1 minus t3 by b1 by k1 plus b2 by k2 that's it so this is the formula for finding out heat transfer rate per unit area and this is the formula for finding out heat transfer rate for any composite slab for composite slab only you need to remember this and this is all about finding out heat transfer rate through composite slab well in the next in the next i mean in this video only i'm going to share with you a question which question already asked in gate 2006 i hope you can read the question right so that's it 2006 okay so in this question what we have given exactly we need to understand first we are we have given a composite slab that is important because we need to think about composite slab i have already shared with you what is composite slab and now i will i'm going to share with you how to solve the question right way that's why if anywhere you will get question related to this you can solve the question quite easily so first of all we have to draw a composite slab so i have already read the question so you need to read the question first right so because you know you don't know what about this composite slab and all that right so already they have been asked that this side is double so so this is different i'm just marking with red line that's why you can identify 
this side, the width of this side is double and this side is single right now the temperature is like this t1 and ti and t2 here in the question we have given ti is equal to t1 plus t2 by 2 that means average average of these two right so based on this diagram based on this diagram what we have to do we have to draw the resistance I mean the network diagram you must say okay network once you will come to know how to draw a thermal circuit or the, you can see also network diagram or the thermal circuit I must say that because this is the uh, technical name of this thermal circuit once you will come to know how to draw a thermal circuit then the so the problem solving and lose your or thinking will be much better for you okay I mean the you can easily solve the question you don't have any problem you not face problem once you will come to know how to draw a thermal circuit so it's simple first start here because you are having one only one resistance here one type of okay now second and then another material because this is a composite slab of two two that's why we have drawn thermal circuit like this now here temperature one here temperature i here temperature two here here we are having something right we know q is equal to minus k a dt by dx right this is the formula for four years law i mean this is a four years law and we have we studied a couple of times maybe you have also gone through this formula okay but here dx is b and all those things are same here change in temperature that means if i will say from here to here what i have to write for here for in this case t1 minus ti by b by k a so the resistance would be like this here 2b because thickness is here 2b by k a k is thermal uh, conduction so suppose that this is k1 and this is k2 so k1 a right now for this case b by k2 a b by k2 a okay now let's go uh, let's go for the question okay so this question we have given that uh, I, mean, I mean we have already given the option that uh, we have to find out a relation like this okay so for this we don't need to find out any numerical values <laughs> so the thing is that we the probability of doing mistake is very less but here what is the case here he transfer it here in the first lab is equal to he transfer it in the second slab so we can write the equation like this q is equal to t1 minus ti by 2b k1 a is equal to ti minus t2 by b by k2 a okay now as we know ti is equal to t1 plus t2 by 2 because we have already given this condition in the question right so we have to put values ti and ti here only so let's write t1 minus ti t1 plus t2 by 2 and here also 2b by k1a is equal to t1 plus t2 by 2 minus t2 by b k2a now if we we'll solve this quotient what we got here what we got here that is important that is important right so what we got here after solving this we can say I mean this term just right here 2 t1 minus t1 plus t2 right and t1 plus t2 minus 2 t2 by 2 right so this is the question I mean you know after uh, what we are getting here what we are getting here these terms these two terms are same okay so so what happened what happened okay so and as you know if we solve this and this what we are going to get just let me write so it will happen it will happen 2 t1 minus t1 minus t2 by 2 so here what will, what will be meaning t1 minus t2 by 2 so let me first get on the page that's why i will share with you quite easily okay now so what we can write here that is t1 
one minus t two t one minus t two by two b so two b here two b by k one a for the first option. Now second second what we got here just let me share with you. This is the we have to simplify this one right. So t one plus t two minus two t two by two. So what will happen? T one minus t two by two. So we can write the same equation here. T one minus t two by two divided by two. Sorry, b by k two a. So this will this will cancel out. Now what we can write? Two b one k one a and b by k two a. Cross multiplication. If we do cross multiplication, we are going to get like this. Right now, a a cancel out, b b cancel out. So what we can write? K one is equal to two k two. What we can write? K one is equal to two k two. So this is how you can solve question if you will get question uh, comp uh, for composite slab. Okay, I hope you understand the question as well as the concept behind it. Thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Bye bye.